My name is Sam Goldust. I'm the medical director of the Brain and Spine Institute at the John Thurk Cancer Center. Thinking back to when we, we conceived of how a brain tumor center should work, we wanted it to be something that worked in real time. So the way in which we do that is that Dr. Captain and his team of neurosurgeons and Dr. Ingenito and his team of radiation oncologists all see patients in shared clinic space. It's not only convenient for the patients, but it also helps us work together in, in real time to, to make sure that we all agree with the care that's going on, what we're doing and why we're doing it. So I think that you should give it a little time and see. Do you think you can get a knife or Yeah, that's possible. One of the questions that people often ask is, doctor, is this operable? Is this inoperable? Um, how long do I have? More often than not, there is a surgical solution to most of the tumors that we encounter. And this is an operable lesion. The problem is recovering from a surgery to remove all of this can be difficult. There are certain situations where a patient may have a tumor that is not amenable to surgery. It may be that the tumor or the lesion is in an area of the brain that is too eloquent, meaning it's sensitive and surgery would be a very high risk procedure uh, as opposed to gamma knife, which is a type of stereotactic radio surgery. We use a targeted system which employs a head frame that is placed on the morning of the treatment. And the head frame acts as a coordinate system that allows us to target any area in the brain with extremely high precision. Just relax, you won't feel a thing. Okay. We have to maximize the dose of radiation that's delivered to the tumor, but minimize the exposure of the surrounding normal brain tissue. Then we will minimize the side effects. And that's why Gamma Knife is such a wonderful tool because the side effects are typically limited and patients are literally on their feet the next day and uh, carrying out their normal daily activities. What I'm most proud of in being a part of the John Thur Cancer Center neuro-oncology team is that we try to offer not only the best standard of care for patients, that is to say what we know works, but that we try to find extra treatment above and beyond the standard of care to give patients an opportunity to receive treatments that aren't offered in other places. I think a very striking statistic is that among patients with, with cancer around the country, less than 10% are enrolled in clinical trials. It's striking because although cancer has come a long way in the past few decades, most cancers don't have a cure. Uh, our goal is to cure cancer, and, and the way that we see that happening is by developing new and better drugs. And we realize that's, that's not a, a road that everyone wants to go down, but, but it is important for us to at least explore the opportunities and to, and to see what, what's available both in standard therapy and, and what might be on the horizon that we can bring now and, and offer through a clinical trial. Hello. How are you? Pretty good, there. Nice to see you. Robert came to us about six months ago, had a glioblastoma removed at a different institution, had standard therapy with radiation and chemotherapy, and then slowly his tumor regrew and started to cause symptoms. Dr. Captain and I saw Robert together and thought that he would be an excellent fit for uh, one of our clinical trials that looks at vaccine therapy. This trial requires that Dr. Captain remove the tumor, which he did successfully. This should be representative sample. And then that tumor is taken fresh from the operating room to a laboratory in which a vaccine is created to try to stimulate Robert's immune system to fight its tumor from within. Hi, Robert. After a successful surgery, he's been receiving treatment on clinical trial, and he's been doing great. And this is your investigational HS HSCPC. The future is exciting in that we've entered a, an entirely new paradigm of treating cancer that's not a one-size-fits-all, but something that makes the most sense from each person's specific changes in, in how their disease developed. Science has progressed a tremendous amount in the past five to ten years, and we're now seeing that that science is helping us to be better oncologists and helping to, to fight people's cancers without making them as sick as we once had to.